Hi guys, this is Kim and I'm coming to you today. Well, I was coming to you today with a tutorial, but unfortunately I had the wrong memory card in my camera and it flimmed it, but it kept coming up as arrow on my camera when I try to play it back. So, um, the whole couple minutes that I spent doing all of this thinking I was filming on the right uh, memory card I wasn't so yeah and I wanted to see you guys to see actually me doing this look so let me show you um, the whole makeup look and what I use for this look is first off let me go through all the stuff that I use and then hopefully the next time I do a tutorial um, it will be basically done right because <laughs> I seem to can't get a tutorial done right now first up to do my eyebrows I use this palette this is a concealer palette this color I use this color which is this color this to um, underneath my eyes to conceal my dark spots and this color for my no this color for my eyebrows and it, this is under my brow bone that's what I use that color now to prime my eyelids I use this is MAC and this is their pain early pain pot and then for my eyebrows I use L'Oreal hip and it's a brown eyeliner along with Ruby Kisses and that's a black brown and a pencil if you can see that I don't know um on top of it I use the elf wet gloss lash and brow and then this is just the pain only pain I always use on my lids just on my lids all the rest of the stuff I'm showing you was for my brow um on top of that my lids with so the paint her paint pot was laid as primer. I use the Ben Nye cream wheel. And these are the colors. The colors that I used were this color, the yellow, and this blue. The yellow was used in the inner part of the eyes, the blue on the outer part as base. And then on top of all of that let me show you the eyeshadow colors that I use this palette is called Quan or Kiwan it's a shimmer eyeshadow palette it's more of a wet eyeshadow palette than more seeing a shimmer eyeshadow palette this is it it's called Quan and I bought it on eBay I think it's a 4D eyeshadow palette if I'm not correct um let's see if it's a 4D Yeah, it's a 40 eyeshadow powder. And these are the colors. And the colors that I use. Um, I use this gold. This in the inner part. Of the, over the yellow base that I put down. And then I use this blue. In the middle of the lid. And this dark blue on the other parts of the lid. Hope you can see it. That's all the colors that I used out of that palette. And then I also took this 42 matte palette. If I can get you. I took this 42 matte palette and I used this 42 matte palette also. 
and there are a few colors that I use from it. I use this brown. Let me take out the eyeshadow part of it. It's much easier for me to hold that. So in my crease, I use this brown. In the crease. And on top of that brown, I use this lighter brown color. And then on over the blue on the other part of where that dark blue was that is from the other palette I used this black and added some depth to it and from this palette also I used this color as contour I don't know if you guys are seeing it I'm not flicking you off guys I'm just And out of this palette, I use this color as blush. Uh, if I can get it. Okay, let me show you. For blush, this is the color that I use as blush. I mixed both these colors and added a little bit of this color. So there you can see. Both these colors for my blush blended. And then I added a little bit of this bright pink. And that was for my blush also for my highlight on my eyes I use this color from wet n wild it's called cream and there it is that was used on the highlights and ooh, 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 what am I losing? for my face highlight I use this from it's wet and wild bronzer in Acapulco Glow. So I use this on the cheeks right here. Top of the bone of my cheeks. And I showed you what I use for um, my contour. So for my face, to cover up my blemishes, I use Black Opal Beautiful Bronze. Then... As the foundation, as always, Maybelline Super Stay. I only use these. I only use this foundation when I'm actually doing like a tutorial. When I'm not going anywhere, this is what I use. This is the foundation I use. And then on top of that, I use this CoverGirl Queen, and it's in medium deep. Okay. And for mascara, I use Maybelline, which Maybelline is the, the only mascara I really love. Maybelline and Ramel, the purple one. I can't remember the name of it, but I like that mascara from Ramel. But all the other Ramel mascaras are garbage to me. But Maybelline mascaras are awesome. Like, they're freaking awesome. I love this one, and I also love the falsies. And the one by one I also actually really do like that one and on my lashes I'm using amazing shine lashes in the 747 medium and the lash glue that I use which isn't is the Revlon precision lash glue yeah it looks gross right now um that's it for my face and then for my lips I know y'all probably like what is she wearing on her lips? That color is so gorgeous. I love it too. Y'all wanna guess? It's this little cheapy dollar from the very famous drugstore brand called Wet n Wild. And it's their doll lipstick and it's 511B. It's the very first lipstick that lets me experiment with colors. These are the very first lipsticks I actually use where I'm like, I don't think pink is going to look good on me. I don't think um, a lighter pink is going to, I don't think a purple is going to look me. So yeah, this is where mine is at. And I still have more to go with using it. So hey. And as I told you before, it's 511B. It's called Nouveau Pink. I don't know if they still print the names on them, but yeah, that was the name of it when I purchased it. And this is it.
it's a very pretty color it does um, separate after a while so you may need to reapply but it's a very pretty color it stains also let me tell you that it stains it's a very pretty color and I like it so this is the look so yeah this is the look if you want you don't have to put on this bright pink color you can actually do a um, a nude color lip I'm not a fan of nudes they make me look uh, so yeah let me zoom out let me see the look yep so this is it guys and my hair is just in a ponytail and I'm sorry no more blue looks for now I think that's why this tutorial didn't even get um, recorded. I'm doing too much blues. Like, what the heck? What do you have with blues, girl? Yeah.